Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Not many ancient artefacts are more significant than this. A 35 to 40,000 year old statue carved out of mammoth ivory using only a flintstone knife and being one of the oldest known statues ever discovered and the oldest known zoomorphic statue in the world. It belongs to the Aurignacian culture of Upper Paleolithic Europe, a culture that extended from 43,000 to 26,000 years ago, creating the first European culture of modern humans. They were responsible for works of art such as this from the Chauvet Cave, dated from 37,000 to 33,500 years ago. Such fine work by a culture of artists, and what makes this Lion Man sculpture seem less out of context. They also created the Venus of Holfell's Cave, and this was also created from Mammoth Ivory. This also dates between 40,000 and 35,000 years ago, making it the oldest Venus statue ever discovered. You can watch a video on this Venus statue on the History with Kaylee channel linked below. The Swabian Jura Mountains of southern Germany are home to a number of incredible archaeological sites from the Aurignacian culture. We find a number of figurines including horses, birds, lions, a hedgehog, a mammoth etched onto a small pendant, and we also find another lion man figurine, but this one is smaller. We say Lion Man because, well, that's what it's always been known as. But it could just as well be representing a woman. So I guess that Lion Human is a more accurate term. As a side note, it is worth noting that male European cave lions did not have a mane. Also, in the reconstructions of the artifact in 2013, it was noted that the figurine does look to have a phallus. So, what actually is it? Before we start, the object is made from mammoth ivory, depicting a cave lion human hybrid. In Europe, mammoths were the largest and most powerful creatures of the Ice Age, and cave lions were the fiercest predator in the landscape. These were combined and made into a human form, and I think the statue looks alert, with the eyes looking forward and the mouth showing an extraordinary grin. For an object of such antiquity, made by a people we know so little about, any interpretation is of course speculative. But from the other lion figurines, the second smaller lion man, the lions depicted in the Chauvet cave, together with the large lion man itself, we can safely assume that humans held the lion in high regard, respecting their hunting prowess, which, symbolically speaking, would have been important when living a hunter-gatherer lifestyle. Cave lions were in Europe during the Ice Age. They were larger than African lions, and would have been animals to respect as well as fear. If they hunted at night in packs, families of humans would surely have been potential prey. In a video by Stefan Milo that's linked below, he talks about the Maasai people of East Africa, who live alongside the lion, and have what he calls a complicated and profound relationship. They have a love and respect for the lion, but not other animals like hyenas, which are viewed very differently, in disgust. These people have a lion hunt, which is like a social cultural practice, a means to constantly negotiate the human lion relationship, but it's done with strong and respectful sentiments. Back to the Aurignacian culture, and the lion man could be a representation of a shaman or it could be some kind of natural spirit or early god or goddess. It was found 30 metres inside the Hollenstein Stardal Cave, alongside jewellery including beads, perforated animal teeth and pendants, as well as bone tools and worked antlers. It could be a cultic site, or possibly a storehouse or hideout, maybe a place to hide from lions under the protection of the lion man itself. Who knows? 
Maybe the artifact was an idol, held by children to ease their fears, if their parents were out hunting, or maybe something to cling onto at night, if the wind was whistling through the cave, and everyone was fearing for their lives. The fact that two lion men figurines have been discovered, does lend to the idea that the Aurignacian people did have some kind of belief system. In later history, we find other human-animal hybrid creatures as well, such as this one dubbed the Sorcerer from the Pyrenees, and the Bison Man that was found in Dordogne. Creating the statue would not have been easy, being made from hard mammoth tusk, and using the flint tools of the day, experts believe it would have taken around 400 hours to make. This amount of time really is substantial. We are talking Ice Age conditions, a small community that lived on the edge of subsistence, who needed to find food, to keep the fire going, to protect the children from predators and so on. The statue has undergone painstaking reconstruction, being found in hundreds of pieces, including tiny specks that have only been found after carefully sieving the sediment. It now stands at 31.1 centimeters high, making it a large and imposing statue, clearly an important and prominent object for people living 35,000 to 40,000 years ago. In the Ice Age world, it's very possible the Aurignacian people practiced excarnation, and as Stefan Milo says in his video, maybe after death, the human body was placed on the step, maybe as an offering to the lions, completing the journey to becoming a lion man, a somewhat poetic image tying humans and nature together in remote antiquity. In the coming weeks, I'll be taking a closer look at the various Ice Age cultures of Europe and Siberia, including both the Gravettians and the Multiburet, who both lived before the Younger Dryas, and who clearly had a well-developed culture. They did have a belief system, and had well-developed skills for working bone and stone, construction styles and more. Human development through the Ice Age, the story before the pre-pottery Neolithic is fascinating, as we can see how culture and skills evolved, and how humans were primed and ready to flourish, when the climate finally became more stable and favourable. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.